time blocking or scheduling your time. I get this one a lot and it's really important we discuss this. So a lot of productivity experts will show their calendar and their calendar will be just filled with all these time blocks that they have. So they'll say from 11 to one, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm gonna write and then two to three, I'm gonna do this, then three to four, I'm gonna do that. Okay, we live in the age of distractions and it's really challenging to make that work Specifically, if you are, let me go a couple pages back here, a minimalist, abstract, or a minimalist, methodical thinker. If you haven't taken my quiz, you can do it. I'll put the link down below. If you're a minimalist, abstract, or minimalist, methodical thinker, and you've got all this stuff on your calendar, it's going to create anxiety. It's going to create stress. Okay. If you're a complex thinker, methodical or abstract, that's different. But here's the, the deal. We've had thousands and thousands of people take our quiz. And this is less than 8% of the, the population. So 93% are coming in minimalist. So if you're a minimalist, which I am too, right? And we're coming back here to the min minimalist situation. And you have all this stuff on your schedule, on your Google calendar, your Apple calendar, and you're trying to get that done. It's going to create stress and anxiety. The other practical thing or problem that occurs when you're doing that, as you're saying from 10 to 11, you're going to write, if something slides or you get a call or somebody walks into your office or something happens, now all of a sudden you've got, this is getting messed up, right? Many people are not independent enough to go ahead and just say, okay, I'm going to block off every single minute and it's going to work perfectly. Very rare, rare occurrence for somebody to do that. So again, you've got to be that complex thinker that really can handle that and methodical in order to go step by step. And that's not most people. So that's where most people break down. So what I suggest you do is you take your sacred six planner out, you prioritize in your morning use, don't start to number one until number two is done. And this is used for appointment setting. So you're using your project basis. Then we use a timer like a primordial timer or a timer. This is a timer here with a clock where you can set it for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So now you're working with priorities instead of scheduled time. It's a really important concept. People are trying to block out all this stuff and it's just creating anxiety, stress, and a lack of productivity. Your teams and your organization, you've got people doing that and they're listening to these experts saying, well, just block out the time. Well, then they get an email from a customer that they need to do some things. Now all of a sudden their 10 to 11 stuff shifts. This would be for your appointments, your meetings, doctor's appointments, et cetera. Now, the way we work at Morning Coach is we set our daily priorities with our seven Ps, and then we look at this as a schedule. We're not even using this as a schedule to schedule it out. It's setting up our day. That's what the single sheet method or the planner, which I give for free over at morningcoach.com, is used for. But these systems work. You just have to understand why the principles are in place. We've been doing this 19 years, literally thousands of people to get them individually working. And that's why having a system based on your thought process, very basic, understanding the way you think is going to help you become more productive. And it's why so many people are struggling. We are forcing people into systems or people are buying systems, trying to find the right one without just stepping back a little bit and having the emotional intelligence or their own awareness to say, okay, this is how I think, let's fit a system in. And what's cool about our system, well, it won't turn, won't page won't turn, let's get that going. Uh, and, and by the way, you can get my book, The Spectrum of Thought, when you take the quiz. Let's go back here, come on, thing. The Quirk Logic is no longer in business, by the way, this company, a couple of people always ask me that. Um, these systems have been made to be used for different thought processes. So we have planners. We have paper and pencil. We have people using the Remarkable 2. We have type systems. We have built that so that you can work in your productivity system with the way that you think. And that's how we're helping organizations and individuals really be more productive and get more time back. But for you today, what I would suggest is instead of trying to schedule everything out, that I would start to use, and I'll put a link to this, the clock that I use down below, which you just turn it and you can set it and be uninterrupted for 30 minutes. And there's some other tools and techniques that we teach, but this, this will be a big one. Start time blocking instead of scheduling. Time block, so have priorities in place, keep your focus on number one until number two isn't done and you'll get things done. You'll start to accomplish more. And if you've got teams, this is a philosophy that you really need to help them start to understand 
because they're struggling. A lot of people are just not productive out there and we're losing efficiency around the world. We're seeing all the research showing that we're just getting less and less efficient. And a lot of this has to do with the structure that we have. Now, personally, I teach for freedom. I want people to be free. I want to use the time to be able to do what I want to do. So I want to have my priorities in alignment so that I can break free and have time for my family and friends. And that's why I coach and help people, uh, especially a lot of CEOs, entrepreneurs, to get that freedom. But we also help organizations become more productive, which in turn helps everybody and makes the world a better place. All right, so let's focus on prioritization instead of scheduling today. And as always, any questions, hey, just leave them down below. You love the content, hit a thumbs up. And we're gonna keep the energy going right here on Morning Coach. We have fun on this channel. I hope you're having a blast and I'll see you in the next video.